red clay mezuzah. Find an old pen and take out the ink. Cut out the prayer and roll it up. See below for downloadable PDF. Place the prayer inside of the tube of the pen. Take a paper clip and tape it to the pen or place it inside as shown. Mixing the clay, you will need several slices of bread, preferably white bread, white glue such as Elmer's glue, or all-purpose school glue, a plastic sandwich bag, and food coloring. Cut off the bread crust from a sling single slice of bread. Break it into small pieces and put it inside the plastic bag. Add one and a half tablespoons of glue to one slice of bread. Close the bag and knead the dough. Repeat this process two to three times to make plenty of clay. This is how you knead the dough until it's smooth. When the clay is ready to use, you will find it will no longer stick to your fingers. After you get your clay nice and smooth, you may want to add a few drops of food coloring to give your clay a little bit of color. You can do this back in the plastic bag so you don't get your hands full of uh, color. Or if you're like me and you don't mind getting your hands dirty, you can just go ahead and mix the color like this. Now, I found it's best if you find some sort of surface, a hard surface that you could work on. Uh, old cookie sheet or a uh, breadboard works very well for this. It's something stable. I like to do a coil. And you can do a coil by working with your hands like this, but I think you get a more even coil when you just roll your hand on a flat surface like this and just keep working it until it gets longer and longer kind of moving your hand back and forth there we go we got a really nice long coil now and we're going to take this coil and wrap it around our pin that has been prepared. We're gonna just take this and wrap it around. around. And you can even flatten it if you'd like. I think it kind of gives a nice effect. I especially want to cover the bottom where it was taped with the uh, paper clip and the top where it was taped with the paper clip. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to flatten it this time a little bit. And I'm going to cover this top part where it has tape. If you're having trouble with the clay not sticking to itself, you could add a drop of glue and it will stick.
we're going to make a little rose here. So I'm going to take this and just kind of twirl it around. And there I have my rose and I could go ahead and add this on for detail. I'm going to just stick it and I could just make some leaves. Get creative and have fun with this part of decorating. It's my favorite part and I bet it will be yours too. Well, it's all done. I uh, left a little bit of the pin open here just because I like to have the openness there. Here's an example of another one. Well, here we are. We finished our mezuzahs. And please have fun and enjoy playing with the clay and doing some other projects and shapes and uh, creatures. Enjoy. See you next time.